Workers on the living or minimum wage may feel like the glass is at least half full. A pay rise, albeit as the cost of living goes up for workers like Lee. It's come at the right time, you know, especially after the pandemic and, uh, you know, the kind of nightmare that the pandemic has been, really. But employers, especially in squeezed sectors like hospitality, might think the glass is looking a bit more empty. Give us a break. If you want a hospitality sector and something world class and you can be proud of, give us a break. Stop. You know, look at VAT, please. Look at business rates. Mm -hmm. They're unbelievable. But whether or not there are more breaks on the way for businesses from April, they will have to pay some staff more. We recognise that this is always a balancing act when striking uh, the national living wage and making sure that it's the right thing for both employers as well as for employees. We've given an enormous amount of help to businesses over the course of the COVID pandemic and that will be a key focus of the budget and the spending review. For workers over 23, the national living wage will go up from 8 91 to £9.50 an hour, a 6.6% increase worth £1,000 a year. For 21 and 22-year-olds, the national minimum wage will increase from 8 36 to £9.18, a nearly 10% increase. And pay for apprentices will go from 4 30 an hour to 4 81 an increase of nearly 12%. But some of those workers won't feel better off, say Labour. Even when you take account of this increase in the minimum wage, a worker on universal credit who's just lost £20 a week and has seen big tax rises from the government and everything getting more expensive, they're still going to be over £800 a year worse off. So it's just more smoke and mirrors from the government. And rising wages also fuel rising prices. Petrol has just reached an all-time high. Retailers blaming it on costs, including wages. Some of our members have told us that their electricity bills have uh, trebled over the last 12 months. Uh, we've also got uh, increases to the national minimum wage and also uh, national insurance uh, looming. So we've got a double whammy, falling demand and increasing costs. And if fuel is more expensive, so are a lot of other things. Miriam is a mobile hairdresser. Already had to put my prices up for my business. Um, and I've had to explain to people that petrol is one of the reasons for that, for me to be able to get around and do what I need to do. Today's wage increases may be welcome in easing the cost of living squeeze for many people, but not all of them will feel that their actual spending power has been topped up. Carl Dinnan, News at 10, Westminster.